It might seem hard to believe, but there is still a place where people live without phones, power or utilities, and they don't have to pay a dime for rent. They call it life off the grid. It's an isolated spot right here in the middle of the California desert, right smack in the middle of it. And it's called Slap City, and some refer to it as the last free place in America. About two and a half hours east of San Diego, Slab City, an abandoned marine training camp, is now home to people trying to escape city regulations, pressures of society, and simply live life without being bothered by any authority. You got to look around and, <laughs> you know, who's looking for this place? <laughs> I mean, this place is so desolate, so useless that they don't care if we're here. We were looking for people who chose this lifestyle. And that's when we found Ben Morofsky. Um, we're not plugged in the internet. We're not, we don't have a regular wall phone and da 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 da. Ben lives in a simple trailer with his wife. A mechanic by trade, he makes money or barters for a meal by working on cars or generators. Others live frugally on the little income they get from disability or social security, or they live like Frank. How many years have you lived here? Um, about 12. He asks only for donations to run his internet cafe, powered by solar panels and car batteries. But after 12 years in Slab City, he's ready to move on. It's like you build your own jail. I'm out of here before the summer comes. Where are you going to next? I don't care. <laughs> and then there's Builder Bill, who escaped to Slab City. He built The Range, an outdoor stage showcasing everything from poets to bands on Saturday nights. Not bad for a construction worker who was living out of his van in San Diego just a decade ago. There I was a bum on the street and here I'm a pillar of the community. <laughs> and the thing about Slab City is you can be here without any prosecution or persecution. And that's where Slab City is the last free space. Because I don't think there's any place else where you can go. A lot of characters. Slab City gets its name because of those slabs of concrete left over from the old military camp. Now it's owned by the state of California. Now the people there are basically squatters, but the government has just left them alone. That could change because of uh, illegal dumping from outsiders. But what brings most people to Slab City, either just passing through or to stay, is the spectacle of Salvation Mountain. One man's tribute to his faith through art, right smack in the middle of the California desert. That part of the story tomorrow on 10 News at 5.